Wow. Wednesday's Times now. China is turning the tables on the US, Josh. This is a more serious story. Yes. So, <laughs> this is uh, the, the uh, yes, China slightly being massively hypocri- uh, hypocritical yeah. here is saying that the US is a cyber bully and is essentially accusing the US of hacking into its systems at one of its uh, polytechnical universities to steal yeah, core technical data. But of course, China. It's sort yeah. of famous over the last decades of going and stealing proprietary knowledge and yes. just basically then using it. And that's how they've sort of developed so quickly. Yeah, yeah. Of it. they have that rather um, casual relationship with the idea of intellectual property, it's yeah. said, isn't it? But mm. I don't want them to bring down the wrath of the government. What, what do you think? Well, about I was going to say, in our house, this is known as bonjour cat pot. Pot, je suis kettle. Right, I mean, yeah. But as the young people or cry say, bullying. it's Darvo, is what it is. Right. It's mm. what the young people say on the internet, it's Darvo, which is deny, attack, and reverse victim and offender. Nice. So, in other words, what you do is you turn the thing around. So, when you're the victim, you, you pretend, There's when a, you're the offender, mm. you pretend you're the victim. There's a meme of Joseph Goebbels, which is quite popular. In, you know, several memes of Goebbels with things he's supposed to have said, almost all of which are ludicrously Bond villain esque explicit statements of his evil intent, and I don't believe he said them. But one of them is accuse the other side of that of which you are guilty. Mm. I might have had it jotted down in a notebook somewhere. I very much doubt he ever stood up on his stomach. I'm kind of scared how many Goebbels quotes you know. That's I, know. I was going to say, but my bit was not only that, it was the notebook he writes yes, down. No, no, those right. are the ones I'm those about. Those are available on